Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I might be the explosive one. We're going to start the timer. Uh, boom. Uh, actually started the timer this time. Good for me. So, TNT, I saw a story okay. that uh, somewhere in California, I don't remember the exact city, um, so, so Southern California, there was a, uh, there is a, uh, I guess there was a YouTuber who started following around cops. Oh. And uh, recording them, their interaction. And my man Santa Ana, which would be the OC, um, and recording their interactions with the public or whatever. Fair. So, um, and I guess the police force has been made aware of this. Uh, yeah. Okay. So fair. The there was a story that the other day the cops pulled up for a call at like it was like eleven o'clock at night, and they were blaring Disney music as loud as possible from their police car. Um, it was like 11 o'clock at night, so like everyone's like, what the hell is going on or whatever. Mm-hmm. They were doing it because if you upload the video onto YouTube with Disney music, it's going to get copyright yeah. snatched. Yeah. So like they were like, they did it strictly because like it would get copyright matched for uh, for <laughs> if, with the people that were recording them. I'm like, is that not like, is that not an admission of guilt? Like before anything ever even happens, like you're just like, just in case we wild out, like let's not make sure YouTube uh, <laughs> algorithms... Put it to the bottom of the barrel. Oh wow! There's, I, yeah, there's a couple different ways you can look at that. Is it ingenuity by the police department? A little bit, yeah. A little bit. Are they just disturbing the peace at that point? Well, yeah. If at eleven bit. o'clock you're blaring Disney, yo. Yeah. So who's policing the police? But if someone if someone wasn't caught doing crime, then the police wouldn't be there doing it in the first place. I, I mean, yeah, I guess, but yeah. it, 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 throwing bad after bad doesn't make it good. You well, know? it's like when you wear one of them paparazzi scarfs. Are you the? Are you looking? Are you just saying you're a bad seed? Or are you trying to protect your protect your privacy? A paparazzi scarf or one of those paparazzi jackets? You ever seen those? No, what's you, a paparazzi? You wear a, there's this scarf or this jacket, and when the f- camera flash goes off, it like everything in the whole picture turns black except for the scarf. Or some what? yeah, or and there's a jacket too that you can wear that does. Where it. the like, hell did you hear about this? It's been around for a long time. What? Now, a couple uh, years. Does everybody know about? Am I the last person to know about the paparazzi jacket scarf? I, I guess. Combo? Yeah, dude. Yeah, look it up. You have to. Yeah, I yeah. refuse. I'm not gonna look it up now. It's interesting. It's it like you actually take the picture and it blacks out, or, or it doesn't. Want to, it either blacks out everything except the scarf, or every I don't know, or makes it all white except something. It's because like that way very, messes up the paparazzi photos. Seems like a very niche garment, to be honest. I, don't I mean, think, I don't think I. Need one, John. Right, that's probably why. I mean, I, I'm ready to wear mine because you know how this channel's about to take off. I'm telling you, dude, the fans are clamoring at the gates. <sighs> we had to have another one removed. <laughs> you know, another another, another rampant fan, rampant fan groupie. girl. Agree, yeah, fan girl, fan guy who's just like, just want to come in and suck your toes, dude. Now look, I, back back to the cops. I can totally understand the cops not wanting this guy to follow him around, not wanting to be scrutinized on their job any more than I would not want to be scrutinized oh, on my dude. job. You know, nobody you. wants somebody looking over their shoulder, taping everything they do at anybody's job, and then uploading. it I don't to want somebody there. to do that to me while I'm trying to like cook a hamburger in the kitchen, like yeah. let alone if I'm at work. Yeah. Now, fair is fair. You're out in public. You can 100% record the police doing their job. In fact, it should be encouraged. Well, especially so that, with as much uh, incidents have come up over the last yeah, few man, years. Because yeah, because if something does go wrong, they need to be held accountable. And it's already a freaking boys club. Well, so, right. And they should have on their camera, but they don't. When they exactly. All of a sudden, oh, man, my body cam exactly. stopped working when I murdered yeah. that person. Or, or we'll hide the or the chief will hide the footage for right. it. Right, exactly. Know? So it's like. So that's what I'm saying. It's already a boys club. And, and honestly, I feel like, you know, they need to understand is that though they might not be the bad seeds and that, that there has been a seed planted that, you know, they need to oh, be yeah, held accountable. There's, there's some bad folks out there, dude. Yeah, man. But uh, sure. I, I, I can understand the war going on. I thought you were going to tell me that they did something to him or they were blaring it outside. Oh, no, they're just they were just blaring Disney. So they would get copyright ID matched. On. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, they, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I guess. I guess, you know. As long as it's like not fire with fire, you can just take the audio off the yeah, that's, off that's the video. Not. But like at the same time, I mean, I guess yeah, because I guess what they're saying is is irrelevant if they're beating somebody. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it doesn't really matter <laughs> yeah. if you're shooting a man. Like you still watch the guy get shot. It doesn't matter what you said. Yeah, yeah. But I do notice that like it's a lot more common now. Like the cops have to go to address anything. Like 19 people pull out their cell phones. They're just like they're just waiting for it to pop off. Yeah. And that's kind of like bad with our culture too, because like. It's like you used to kind of know, like, if you were out in public and someone tried to start a fight with you, that, like, 
it might go like somebody might get a swing on you, but like the general public would like most of the time step in and like stop a fight. Now, like you hear stories about people just letting someone get their ass beat and recording it. Like, yeah, don't don't do anything, just film. Yeah, right. Like, don't call nine one one. Don't try to stop it. Just record this poor man getting the shit kicked out of him. Like, because I think I saw a story. There was like, yeah, a young kid who like died or something. Because, but no one was like helping him. They just were. There was like fifteen videos of it, but no one like. <laughs> Called the cops. Nobody tried to intervene. Nobody did no. any. No one even said stop. They're just like yelling "World Star." And that's 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 bystander effect, just like uh, made stronger by the cell phone. You know? Oh yeah. Like dude. everybody's like, oh, somebody else will do something. I yeah. don't have to. I don't have to stop and help. And yeah. then it's like everybody has their cell phones, so they're distracted, and it just becomes like. It becomes basically a YouTube video on, in their screen. They're just like taping it, and they're not even realizing yeah. that it's a real life. Well, I've noticed that, happening. dude. Like, it's even like if you go to like, well, obviously pre COVID, because I haven't done a ton since COVID, but went to like an event or a concert or whatever, there's so many people that are just, they just record everything and just watch it through their phone. And mm-hmm. they're not even like enjoying the experience of being there. And I'm like, are you going to go home and just watch this video again? Like, you watch the whole concert on mm-hmm. your cell phone and, and it's literally right there. Like, it's for the gram. It's for the gram, yo. Like, but it's for the gram. Yeah, I try to like. Not I, like maybe if I go somewhere, I'll take a picture or two or something or maybe a video. But like try to like live in the moment, man. Enjoy like what you're at because, um, you know, I, I, I take both sides. Me, myself, I barely pull out my cell phone for like if I'm home. Yeah, I'm watching stuff on my cell phone. But, you know, you're watching stuff on TV, you know, boom. I don't watch a lot of TV, but I watch, you know, yeah, stuff yeah. on my phone. Um, When I go out, I don't pull my phone out very often. Yeah, I actually I try to do that, too. I think it's I like. Don't. When when I'm home, I'm on my phone a lot because like I'd rather be on my phone than watching something or whatever. But like if I go out somewhere, like unless I'm like texting a friend or waiting, looking for somebody to call me, mm-hmm. like I very rarely will just sit out and like per- per- peruse Reddit like while I'm at, at dinner yeah. with friends. Like I, I try to give the people I'm with my attention. I, if I'm waiting in line or something and there's absolutely nothing, I'm by myself. Then yes, I will pull out my phone and be like, all right, I'm not gonna sit here and just be bored. I'll, right. I'll look at Reddit real quick, and usually I'll be like, why does my Wi-Fi doesn't work? Damn you, Verizon. Yeah. Yeah, right, right. Um, but for the most part, I don't even like, I don't know if I necessarily have a resentment or if I have like a feeling of superiority to people who can't get away from their phones. It's just like, for me, I just, <laughs> you know, I don't I don't need my phone to entertain me. Oh, I'm definitely uh, judgy. If, like, if I go on a date with someone, I monitor how much they're checking their okay, phone. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like, it's one thing of like, you know, I get up to go to the bathroom, I come back, you're on your phone, you're finishing up, you put it away. But like if we're sitting there just talking and you just keep pulling your phone out, I'm like it's, you can't it's sit a little there. Bad and, manners. It's like you can't sit there and have a conversation with someone for an hour and not look at your phone. Like that's a that's a red flag to me, dude. Bruh, I used to date a girl who would go who would pick up her phone during sex. What? Yeah, and then don't don't even look. I don't want you guys at home thinking like, "Yo, dynamite's not putting it down." Well, she, putting well it she's down. just like, "Let me let me text mom about Thanksgiving while you're just yeah, railing her from behind." Yeah, like wait, man. Wow. But she she had an addiction. She was aware of her addiction. She was trying to do better, but it was like if she saw her phone go off, she knew text message. Boom! I have to answer that. Interesting, like, dude. Yo, that's a little much. Yeah, dude. I uh. Yeah, like when I'm home, I'm I'm most of the time just messing around on my phone because I'd rather I don't like watching shows very much. Like so, but yeah, dude, I like to go out and do stuff and hang out with my friends. Like I want to talk to my friends. Um, so yeah, dude, I don't know. There is a definitely an issue with. Uh, I mean, there is a reason why they talk about like families and schools have like when you come to dinner, put your phone in the box over there so uh, people aren't just like. I hate that shit. I I do. I hate that. I hate what? So hate what part? Just the addiction to phones? No, I don't hate. I don't. I don't care about people's addiction to phones. Like, well, what do you hate? I hate that people feel the need to stop it. Stop people looking at their phone. Yeah, but why are you coming out to hang out when you're just gonna be on your phone? Uh, let them live their life. I mean, they, yeah, I guess. I guess. Because I just want to invite them next time. Because I'll be like, well, it, you can sit at home and be on your phone. If, I want to hang out with somebody. If it's a teenager. I understand that you want to give them some of what you had when you were younger, and that was, I don't know, the lack of the phone because you felt like you were living life better then. But, you know, the cell phone ain't going nowhere. You can fight against it, but it's kind of a losing battle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you want to teach some temperance, some self-control, but... right. 
I yeah, man. Know. I don't. I don't think that, I don't mind them. I just like, but it's like I feel like people have lost the respect of like giving someone your time. Like you know, you're out dinner or whatever. Yeah. Like conversate with the person you're with, man. I don't then, feel like I'm. I'm going to victim blame the phone on that. I'm going to blame the person for not being able to have self control. Right, or they don't care about you enough to like. You're not yeah. interesting enough to them. That's what I yeah. take if I'm on a date. I'm like, okay, well, I'm not interesting enough to you to like hang out and talk. And if this is going to be our life, every time I hang out with you, I'm just competing for your attention to your phone. Like, bye. <laughs> so that's their inability to, to promote right. a, a healthy relationship. Exactly. It's not the cell phone's fault. No, it's not. I'm and not going to blame. I'm not going to blame the crack because you're running down the street naked. <laughs> right, right. I'm going to blame you for smoking the crack, all right? right. Well, the anyways, crack is going to be there. That's all time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to go to crazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.